Hey everybody, it's Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool, back from vacation. Just had the most amazing, relaxing vacation to date of my life. It was fantastic, and I'm confident that you will hear more and more about that over the next couple days. Um, but I wanted to talk to you because while I was gone and I was watching um, stuff happening out on Facebook, I saw a thread from a, a friend of mine that I just totally respect and adore. And she had mentioned in one of her groups, has anyone else noticed the sheer volume of homeschool bloggers or moms who are charging for encouragement group and mentoring? It seems that my inbox and Facebook feed are now filled to the brim with sales pitches rather than actual encouragement. And so I wanted to talk to you about this because when I asked the moms in that thread and I chatted with a couple of them privately, uh, they were very clear. Homeschool moms, they, they want encouragement, right? They want to know that they're on the right track, that um, they're doing the right things, that they're not messing up their kid's education, right? They're looking for ideas for what to teach, uh, not just specifics like um, not just specific subjects it's like Bible, math, writing and reading. But what do you teach when it comes to math? What do they need to know by the time they graduate high school? Right. This is what homeschool moms like me are looking for. Encouragement. What to teach community. We want to know that we're not alone as my camera is backwards. We want to know that we're not alone. It's so much more fun to teach our kids when. Um, there's somebody to laugh with when our kids do something silly or there's somebody to cry with when nothing, and I mean nothing, is working. We want that community. We want that fellowship. As Christian homeschoolers, we want that prayer. We want that encouragement and support, right? This is what we're looking for. We're not looking for sales pitches every two seconds of the day, but we also want the best resources available out there, right? Am I wrong? Um, I'm hearing that this is what people are looking for from me as a better way to homeschool blogger and mom, um, from my friends that are bloggers and moms out here on a, in the universe on the internet. And I, so I wanted to talk to this. This is an unveiled, behind the scenes, very clear. I'm going to let you know what's going on with there because this is my my heart. So I'm going to talk to you about what I am trying to do. My heart is to encourage you. I've been homeschooling 20 years. That's a long time. Hey, Beverly. Um, I've been homeschooling 20 years plus. Um, I have kids that are almost graduated from college. I've got a married kid. We've got a married kid. I've got one in high school working on his associate's degree and his um, the high school diploma at the same time. I've got one getting ready to do that. And I've got my dyslexic, brilliant uh, pogo stick riding mountain bike guy that loves to hurl an axe kid at my kitchen table. So I've kind of got it all. And in my journey, I've made a lot of mistakes. And so I really want to be here. I want to be that voice of sharing encouragement, funny stories, right? We like to laugh. We also like to know that we're not alone. You know, your kids are not the only ones that fight. Mine aren't the only kids that fight or grumble or roll their eyes or struggle with reading or can't quite get whatever that is, fill in the blank. We're looking for encouragement. We're looking for, well, what do you teach a 13-year-old? Or what do you teach a seven-year-old? Or what do you teach twins, even though I don't have twins or boys or girls? We're looking, we're hungry for people to fill in the blanks and to make it easier for us. Hey, hey, we're like birds of a feather. We flock together. We got kids in the same stages. Um, but there's a lot of new homeschoolers out there that are starting to be discouraged because they follow bloggers or homeschool moms out there. And they're finding that instead of being encouraged and being um, led to different types of things that they can teach, instead of finding a wonderful, warm community and the best resources, they're getting sales pitch after sales pitch after sales pitch. And so I wanted to use my friend, Anna, 
as an example of why it's important that you see, you step back and you see the big picture. Somebody like me, who is 20 years down the road and wants to bring you encouragement, give you some ideas on what to teach, um, build a community of like-minded homeschoolers, and not only um, create and provide amazing resources out there, but also connect you with other people that have amazing resources. So people like me have a heart. It's the gray hair talking, right? It's that um, teach the youngers the better way, right? So they can make new mistakes. They don't have to repeat your mistakes. They can make new mistakes. So if this is my heart. How do I do that? How do I bring you all of these resources without being sales pitchy? Well, I can tell you that I don't always get it right. So sometimes I get so stuck in my rut that my emails or my posts out here are too pitchy. And I confess that because I'm busy and I'm trying to, you know, make homemade fresh food, teach pogo stick riding, mountain bike jumping people how to read and do like amazing things with school. And at the same time, balance relationships and my walk with the Lord. It's hard. It, it is hard. But using my friend, Anna, so she is launching this thing called, um, I don't even remember what it's called. It's the sisterhood. This thing is to fill this gap. It's with that heart in mind. So if you are following bloggers like me, A Better Way to Homeschool, bloggers like They Call Me Blessed, and fill in the blank, other Christian bloggers that have been around for a while, you're going to hear a lot about the sisterhood because it's kind of like when you're teaching your kids something and they're not listening and you don't understand why they're not listening. And then suddenly they bump into their really cool friend and their really cool friends, really amazing dad says the same thing. And suddenly your kids are like, what? That's brilliant. And the whole time you're sitting there going, oh, I've been trying to tell you this for 14 years. What do you mean you hear it once? Right. So in this building of the community, Anna has put together this thing called the sisterhood. And when I look at it, bear with me, because this is important that you understand that the idea of the sisterhood is to build community, to bring you encouragement. It's my paper showing. It's to bring you encouragement. It's to focus on the types of things that we really want to teach our kids, right? Consistency, contentment, looking at what else she has in here, because I can't remember. Um, contentment, uh, clarity, working on character qualities with our kids, like attentiveness and um, discipline and diligence and responsibility and kindness and caring, right? That's what we want. What do we want to teach our kids? We want to teach them to be amazing. So here we are with the sisterhood. Now, as a blogger, I don't want to bombard your email or my Facebook post with by the sisterhood, but it's so good. And it's so amazing that for me, I want you to know I have something that's just like it. I have a homeschool mom's huddle that's been going for a year now. And I, I, I think that this is such a great community and it's so beautifully done that I want to give you this too. I, I want you to have the best community of support that you can have. I know within my own little membership group that I've built that we've, we talk about prayer. We talk about writing. We talk about attitudes. We talk about relationships and all these amazing foundational things that are necessary to help us be successful as homeschoolers. And it's good. It's good because it's a closed group. It's good because it's a safe group. It's good because it's not just me sharing. It's other people sharing and interacting with one another. It's that community. And so that's what Anna is putting together is this community. And you have all of us bloggers 
that are, we're kind of interconnected. We're a team. Why? Because knit together, we can help more people, more moms, more homeschoolers find success and confidence than we can on our own. You know, I have my little, my little corner of the internet over here and Anna's got her bigger corner. She's about, she hit 10,000 followers. Congratulations, Anna. That's fantastic. So she has her corner of the internet over here. We both have the same heart. We both love the Lord. We both love our husbands and love our children. And we both are coming to this platform to share what we know with our audiences. And so I want to link together with Anna because she has this mass, um, this fantastic ability to put things together in a beautiful way that makes it more accessible. Her heart is to get us off social media more so that we can be more attentive at home. So the way that her community is going to work is it's going to be on an off Facebook platform and it'll have all kinds of stuff, book clubs for moms, book clubs for kids, um, character building. Plus she's throwing in other things too, to make it great. Is this a sales pitch? No, but if you go, wait a second, I need that. I need to be connected with other moms out there. And if you decide that, hey, I want to give that sisterhood a try, I'm going to I'm going to grandfather you in if you use my link. So we're teamed. Right. So Anna and I work together. She created the sisterhood. And when I share it with my little corner of the internet, and when I help behind the scenes, and I get to contribute contribute in any way that I can, then Anna is willing to share a couple pennies with me along the way, which pays for my internet, my uh, clip art things that I use when I'm doing business, paying for the resources and things that you don't see. Why don't bloggers like me, do this stuff for free. That sisterhood, hey, Olivia, that sisterhood, my homeschool huddle, my huddle, the way that it works is we meet twice a month. Hey, Olivia, if you have anything to say about the huddle, please hop in there because we meet twice a month and we meet live. And then I put it in the same kind of thing that Anna has going. Each huddle, each time that we meet, I invest no less than two hours of time beforehand preparing uh, resources and printables and unit studies and goodies for everybody inside the huddle. So every single month, I'm putting in hours of prep work to do that. It takes time, right? I want to give you my best. Now, my computer is filled, <laughs> filled with free things that I have grabbed because they're free and then never looked at again. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that signs up for things and then doesn't utilize them, doesn't go for them. But I can tell you the classes and the resources that I have paid for, even if it's just like $15 or $25, even if I only spend a few dollars, that's hard earned money. So I give it my attention. Now, homeschoolers don't like to spend money on things that we can get for free. And I am the first one. Hey, Anna, yay. Were your ears ringing, girl? I'm talking about you. Um, we are, I have all these things that I have uploaded and downloaded for free that I have never cracked open. But the things that I've invested in, even if it's just that little bit, it, it hurt a little bit, right? I had to take that money from my tight homeschool budget to improve either myself, my teaching abilities, or my children, or my home, or my business. And when I take money out of our family budget, then I take it more seriously. And it's that exact reason why that as homeschoolers, we, when we build or we join a community that we actually subscribe to, even though it's just a few dollars, 
we show up. We join in. We comment. We grab the resources and the goodies. We go through the classes because we spent money on it. And as homeschoolers, we tend to, as a group, be a little bit tight wadded, right? So I know, Anna, I told when I first started homeschooling, I used to teach uh, workshops and um, I taught workshops in August and in January at a charter school. I've been homeschooling forever. So I've, we've done homeschool every way you can do homeschool out of a box, out of the library, through charter schools. This one season of teaching, I was at a charter school and the charter school had camps, boot camp type things for moms. And we did them in August and we did them in January. And the reason that we did them in August was it was right before the school year. Everybody's itching to get their fingers on the teaching, right? Everybody's excited. You're filled with hope. You're filled with encouragement. The kids aren't rolling their eyes yet. So we fill ourselves up. So <laughs> we run out of the gates with homeschooling and it's awesome. And then we lose our steam and Christmas rolls around and we all like put everything aside. And then we need that shot of adrenaline in our arms again for January. It's, it's why Anna has built the sisterhood to open its gates now. It's open right now. So you can open the gate and you can get in right now. Then it's going to close. It's going to close because community is about relationships. It's about building trust. It's about knitting together to make each other stronger. And so the, the doors will open, then it'll close, and the community will love on and encourage one another. And we will be there for each other. We will share resources and ideas and tips and tricks together. And then we will charge through that first half of the school year together. <laughs> And be there come January, whenever Anna opens it up again, to get that shot of adrenaline together. And at that time, there will be a new flood of people that come in. And so it's a meet. January is the homeschool slump season. Boy, isn't that the truth. So why, why are we talking about this? Because you're going to get flooded by your bloggers. The bloggers that are like-minded are all very likely going to be feeding you the same types of information. And sometimes they're busy. And so we'll get um, the information from the person that put the program together. And a lot of us will even just copy and paste that into our emails for you. Because, but here's the trick. Here's the thing to pay attention to. We're united. You're looking for, you're looking for that thing that rises to the top. If you have your five favorite bloggers or your three favorite bloggers or your two favorite bloggers feeding you the same information, it's worth looking at. It's worth thinking about and praying about and taking advantage of because I'm here to tell you right now, if it wasn't good, I wouldn't be telling you about it. Mm -mm. My focus is to, where's my little list? I don't know. I lost my list. My focus is, is to encourage you to share the types of things that you can teach. I, my voice, my word for you is to focus on the Holy Trinity of homeschool, heart, attitude, and character. You're going to hear that from me over and over and over and over. And, and those already in can encourage those. Yes, darling. Amen. Um, so I'm going to be saying the same thing over and over and over. We need encouragement. You don't need it just from me. You need to hear it from multiple moms that have gone before you. It's looking for footsteps in the snow, right? If you're about to teach a, a ninth grade algebra, wouldn't it be great if you could pick the brain from someone that has been there, done that before, where you can find out, like you see the fruit on the tree, you go, wait, she's, she talks about her kids rolling her eyes and giving her attitude and questioning everything that she's saying. And yet they're still doing what they need to do. 
I want to I want to hear from her. So you want to be a part of a community that's willing to share. And then when it comes to the best resources, me personally, I'm laser focusing on what I think are the best resources out there for homeschoolers. So what does that mean? The sisterhood. You're going to hear from me every year in August and January about the sisterhood. If you join the sisterhood, I'm going to grandfather you in to my homeschool huddle. There's already a year of information in there. Let's see, free resources without anyone having to implement serves no... Amen. Amen. Okay, so I've got a full year already and growing kit and caboodle of my homeschool huddle. And so I want you, I don't want you to drain your budget. I think the sisters, the sisterhood is so good that I'm going to throw in my huddle. And this is the one I want to talk to you right now. See, yay, I am in the sisterhood too, because it's awesome. Okay, I just got back from vacation. Let me tell you what this is. This is not built yet, but when you join the sisterhood, you're going to get this. I just got back from a vacation on a river. The river house had the kind of view and windows that would not allow curtains, right? You you walk in and it's just windows and out the back windows is this this amazing view, hummingbirds and songbirds and wild turkeys and deer. And yes, you do. Uh, so this is like a buy one, get one free deal. No, this is buy one, get three free. <laughs> if you get it from my link. So here I am at the river house getting up. Uh, there's no curtains. So the sunshine was waking me up at 530 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning. So I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm going outside. And I would sit on the back porch. Yay, darling, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to ignore the comments for a second. I'll come back to them. Sit on the back porch. And I was able to do just sitting in the sun and digging in God's word for like seven days while I thought about hummingbirds and bees, and turkeys, stick with me, bats, rivers, waterfalls. And in this one little bush right in front of me, there was this lavender plant. And in this lavender plant was this little bumblebee that was buzzing around. Every day, he stayed in this little bush. He never left his little bush. And I would watch this bumblebee, and I would be like, dude, don't you see the other flowers? Don't you see the meadow? Don't you see everything that God has for you? And then the Lord knocked on my heart and he was like, Peggy, you're the bumblebee. You're buzzing around busily doing what you think you're supposed to do. And you're not lifting your eyes to see what I have for you. Oh, my soul. So the Lord put this idea on my heart and I am working on it right now. And that, that's what this behold thing is. You join the sisterhood, you get the behold. Behold is a whole series of lessons and units and studies about God's creation, beholding God's creation. My journal is filled, filled mushrooms and uh, waterfalls, I'm trying to get to my list, hand, foot, prints and feet footprints and standing still before the Lord. Where's my list? Dinos, sunflowers, cedars, palm trees, gardens, beauty, um, herbs of the Bible, food of the Bible, trees of the Bible, birds, uh, stars, sun, moon, eagles, soaring, uh, so much amazingness. And here's a taste because the, what I'm, these are not free. Each single one of these things is going to take me hours, if not days, if not weeks to create. However, oh my gosh. So I asked some moms, what do you think? And they're like, yeah, please put me on the wait list. So, and I said, did I miss anything? And that's where I got dinosaurs. The one that got me though 
was somebody said mushrooms. And so I'm like, okay, what does God's word have to say about mushrooms? So I did some research and I did some scripture. I did some studying. And if you think about mushrooms, they are small. They are round. They sprout up in the dew. If you pick them, they rot and they wither. They're nasty. They, they, they like in, become infested with worms and stuff, right? And you can't keep them. You can only harvest them and eat them. And then, oh my gosh, I read Exodus 16, where it talks about, oh, no, you go read Exodus 16. <laughs> what? Mind blowing. Okay, so if you join the sisterhood, you're going to get the complete set of this Behold series that I'm going to create. It's a printable. It will be for sale. Each unit, like my mushroom unit, my bird unit, my stars unit, my all these units that I will create over the next few months will be no less than five dollars a piece. The entire packet. So I've got, uh, I've got uh, Earth Science planned, and I have Life Science planned. So the Earth Science will be, I don't know. 50, 60, $70 for the whole thing once it's done. The life science, same thing, 50, 60, $70, just right there. So the huddle, you get the huddle. The huddle, my huddle membership, I forget how much I charge for it. I think it's like $7 a month, $60 a year, something like that. So you, let's do $7 a month. Let's just use that as a ballpark. Let's do no less than 20, 25 growing units over the next year. When you put that together, that's almost $200 of bonuses from me um, just for being part of the sisterhood because my heart, <laughs> finding my list, is to give you the best. How much better can it be than to dive into God's word? Yesterday, as we were getting ready to leave, a little bat flew into the window and stunned itself. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> So I put a little string under his feet because he was on his back and he was trying to get up, right? And he couldn't get up. So I put a little string underneath and sure enough, his little claws gripped on to the string and I was able to lift him up and put him on a bush. And then I had my 15 year old just sit there for like two hours, just staring at this little bat. And then I thought to myself, I wonder if God's word talks about the bat. It does. <laughs> They're unclean. You shouldn't eat them. Hey, I, I I wouldn't have eaten a bat anyway. Um, but when I when I'm diving into this, this series is so amazing and so fantastic. Now I'm biased. I can see it in my mind, and I took so many notes. I spent hours just this week alone. I spent no less than 25 hours in the word just diving in about different topics of nature. This one day, my son was so discouraged. One of my sons, we were there with four, and I'm almost done. Um, but he was so discouraged. And we're at a river, right? So, and right outside in the river is this little waterfall. And the kids would, they'd get their little floaties. They're all like, 13, 15, 17, and 21, but they'd get their floaties and they'd go into the little waterfall and then they'd float down the river in the current. My son was so discouraged. And I said, dude, I go, do you remember what it feels like to be in the waterfall? That cool, refreshing, amazing water rushing over you? He goes, yeah. I go, it's amazing, isn't it? He goes, uh-huh. I said, and when you look upstream, can you see an end to the water? He's like, nope. I said, that waterfall is God's grace rushing over you, refreshing you, restoring your soul. And when you look up stream, you can see that there is no end in sight to God's grace. So if your soul is tired, if you're thirsty, if you find that you're dry, it's because you've gotten out of the river and you need to get back in the river, get back under the waterfall of God's goodness and grace and mercy and love. And I watched him go. And 
And I had that picture because I was studying waterfalls. And what does God's word say about waterfalls? These are the types of lessons our kids need. They're the lessons we need. They're why I want to pour out encouragement. These are the things we need to teach our kids. This is what you're going to get in the sisterhood, in that community. These are the best resources available. And I'm not saying that because I'm making them or because Anna's making them. I know your inboxes are full. And I know it sounds like everybody's saying, pay me, pay me, pay me. Instead, I want you to realize that when you have these types of resources, you are, you're investing in yourself. You're investing in your heart and you're helping provide the coffee necessary for moms like me <laughs> to deliver it. Because this isn't a lot of money. The sisterhood's like 15 bucks, I think. Is that right, Anna? Do I have that? So, oh, thank you, darling. Okay, so Anna, I think it's $15 a month. Um, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Hours and hours and hours of resources and encouragement, not buy this curriculum, do these lessons, um, not um, hey, you should subscribe to these 100,000 things. From me, you're going to hear about, you're going to get my stories in the huddle. Uh, you're going to get these types of things in my homeschool huddle, which is now included if you follow my link and you get in the sisterhood there. You're going to get the Behold series. I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but you're going to get your fingers on the Behold series as it's released one unit at a time. Those are the things I'm going to be focusing on with the sisterhood. With my blog and with Facebook, you're going to see encouragement and quotes and stories, those types of things. And then there are a few other things that I will personally get behind and promote, um, especially if you're interested in things. 50 cents, a, hold on, 50 cents a day? Okay. That's ridiculous. I throw more money away a day because I forgot to use the salad that's in <laughs> in my refrigerator. So I just throw it away. So me, that's what you're getting from me. I know your inbox is full. I know you don't want to hear from 100,000 people about the sisterhood or about this conference or that bundle or this thing. Um, I'm focusing. So I'm going to be talking about the things that I am personally creating, like my Behold series or my homeschool huddle. I'm going to support and encourage you to get into the sisterhood because it's good. Anna's heart is amazing. And these are the things that we need to teach our kids. We need to teach them about waterfalls. We need, I watched hummingbirds. I wish I brought my phone so I could show you a picture. There are 500,000, okay, maybe seven hummingbirds that were fighting and sword fighting over the hummingbird feeders at this place. And it was uh, amazing watching these hummingbirds come back and feed. And one of the things that the Lord impressed on my heart was that the, the hummingbirds are in need of a constant flow of nutrients from the Lord and or to sustain their bodies. And that that's how we are. As we're buzzing around, sword fighting our little battles, we have to keep going back to the source of our true energy, our true joy, our true love and patience and kindness. Where do we get all that? We get that from the Lord. So if we're trying to fill up on social media or uh, books that we're reading or you know, doing Zumba or whatever the crazy thing that people are doing to try to make themselves feel better, but we're not going back to the river. We're not going back to the waterfall. We're not being refreshed and restored with the word. Then we're missing out. So we can learn lessons by studying God's creation, getting our kids outside. And I'm super excited about this. So let me just look. If anybody has questions, let me know. Because I want you to join the sisterhood. I'm going to just tell you flat out. I think, I think we need it. I need to hear from you.
I need to be encouraged too. I'm just a girl on the other side of this screen, struggling to choose the right things to raise up my boys with my husband. Are they academically ready for life? I don't know. I need to talk about it with you. I need to bounce ideas off of moms that are further down the road with me. And I'm one of the grayer ones out here, which means you can ask me things. I need you in the sisterhood. I need somebody to tell me to stop being the bumblebee buzzing around in the bush. But Becky, look, there's more than what you're doing. I need that too, don't you? That's what's inside the sisterhood. And then I get to unlock the huddle for you. Inside the huddle, there's a full year. That's, what is that? What's two times 12? Isn't that 24 plus extra stuff in there? I have so much stuff in there. <laughs> My coaches, like I get like, I get metaphorical spankings all the time because I don't charge enough money for the things that I create. <laughs> They're like, Becky, 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 stop giving all your stuff away. I can't help it. I can't help it. My heart is too overflowing. So I want to give those things to you. So, okay, let me go back through. And then I got, I got stuff to do. You got stuff to do. You got to go join the sisterhood. So I love that we have veteran homeschool moms as mentors in the sisterhood. Amen. When I first started homeschooling, um, I was overwhelmed and terrified. And somehow I ended up in a, a physical prayer group that we met every Friday. And I was sitting at the table from very seasoned teachers and homeschool moms. And they were amazing. And like, that's where I learned that kids shirts have four surfaces, the front, the back, the inside front and the inside back. So you never had to worry if they were making a mess. You just flip their shirt around. I also learned from those homeschool moms that showers are optional. You don't need to take a shower every day. We're lucky if our kids breathe all the way through the day, right? <laughs> I also learned that you didn't need to do all your curriculum. If you, It doesn't matter how much you spent on it. If it doesn't work, you don't use it. And you actually get it out of your house so that you don't feel bound by it. <laughs> I learned from those women that honoring God and our husbands could never be sacrificed. We were not gossipy. We did not allow gossip. We did not backbite and talk about our men behind their, their backs. We loved each other and encouraged one another. And we would challenge each other. We focused on training up our kids. We were unified so that if their kids were at my house or my kids were at their house, they got the same type of parenting and um, people watching them. What was permitted in my house was permitted at their house. What was not permitted at my house was not permitted at their house. It was beautiful. And that's what's inside the sisterhood. We need that. Okay, I got distracted. I have to take my glasses off because I can't read this print. Do you care that I have wrinkles? I don't care. Okay, so I kind of care, but I can't care because I can't really do anything about it. Okay, I'm going back through. Um, yay, Beverly's looking forward to the sisterhood. Olivia is an amazing homeschool mom. So she's inside the huddle and now you're inside the, the sisterhood too. And I love that. So, okay. So Anna saying, Hey, this is Anna. She's sweet. And she's the one that's putting together the sisterhood. Uh, darling, you're already in just being part of the, okay, I missed the party because we took nine hours to make a four and a half hour drive last night because, you know, why not spend nine hours in the car? It was horrible, um, but it was awesome. Free resources. I wanted to touch on that again because um, one of the worst things, one of the worst feelings is getting something that somebody told you is amazing. Oh, you got to get this resource. It's so cool. And then having no idea how to implement it. 
that's just, it's like one of, it's, it's such a waste of money and space, right? Why do you print it if you're not going to use it? Um, let's see. Oh, I said that already. Okay. So buy one, get three free. Okay. So in the descriptions, as I'm slipping down, I'm not seeing anything. Um, Jennifer, the sisterhood, the huddle and the behold, I, I'm so excited. Have you ever done something that you know the Lord is doing through you? And I say this with complete humility because I I don't want this to be of me. I really want this project to be honoring and glorifying to God. And I want it to enrich um, our kids' lives and our lives. You know, what I've gotten so far studying the creation and... Um, just human body and gold and all this stuff, what I've gotten out of it has given, it's swelled my heart to be like the Grinch, like three sizes, like it grew three sizes that day. So amazing. So um, I love that you love my stories. Thank you. Um, I love that I gave you chills. That's like, okay, I'm a writer. And if I can make you cry, or if I can give you the chills, I feel really good about that. Isn't that sick? It's kind of being a writer thing. And I don't really want to make you cry, but I kind of have a gift in that area. Sorry. 50 cents a day for the sisterhood. 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 Thank you, Jennifer. Um, I love that we have homeschool moms as mentors. And this is what we need to surround our people that point ourselves back to God. And Anna is just like that. Um, and I have to be honest that I don't even know everything that's inside the sisterhood yet. Um, I have an appointment to talk with um, one of Anna's uh, people behind the scenes to, to learn more too. This gal is amazing. Um, but I, when I look at the things that she already has in, so it's inside, you'll have content, community, mentorship, encouragement, inspiration, accountability, um, month by month, focusing on the seven C's of homeschooling together, clarity, content, consistency, contentment, ooh, there's a big C word, a community, confidence, and celebration. Um, I love that because, you know, it's, it's really easy to look at everybody else and to think, oh, I should be doing that. Or gosh, my kids don't do that. Or why do I, why am I struggling? Why is my heart heavy when I'm surrounded by, why is my heart heavy? If I have a roof over my head, food to eat, um, a husband that loves me, children that are healthy and strong and love to learn, a car that runs, clothes on my back, um, glasses so that I can see. Uh, why am I so discontent? Well, Becky, it's because you got out of the waterfall. Get back under the spout where the blessing comes out. Didn't you need to hear that? I needed to hear that this week. Um, okay, so that's it. So I am going to wrap this up. Um, I love you guys. I want you to know that people like me, people like Anna, know that you're being overwhelmed in your inbox. And I know as I reach down, look at that. I even got swords in my background, got bionicles, got swords and clutter in my background. I know you're frustrated. We're not trying to take all your money. We're working together because we're stronger together. You and I are stronger together. Anna and I are stronger together. The, the mentors and the teachers inside the sisterhood are stronger together. Um, and the fact that we are able to zero in, focus in, remember I'm an archer. If you don't have a target that you're aiming for, then you're really a fool to be shooting a bow and arrow. <laughs> it's the same thing with homeschooling. If you don't have a goal, then you're, you don't have the ability to measure yourself. And the goal is not the teacher's guide. The goal is not the standardized test. The goal is at the end of the day, you know, when a lady walks in the room, do your sons stand? Um, do people say please and thank you? Um, do they work hard? Are they cheerful? Are they attentive? Do they love to read and love to learn? Do they uh, know how to rightly divide God's word? Uh, do they hunger and thirst for truth? I can tell you that after the overflowing of my heart about creation, that 
I've got a few of my sons salivating to get up to their elbows in studying creation and what God's word has to say about it because it's contagious. Um, your enthusiasm is contagious. It doesn't matter what we focus on. It doesn't matter whether we're learning about bats or minerals or um, of Newton's laws of thermodynamics. It doesn't matter. What matters is, am I enthusiastic about it? Are they hungry to learn? And what does God's word say about it, right? If we focus there, then it, you just really can't go wrong because it's contagious. And if we teach our kids to learn and to be excited, <laughs> yeah, I got five boys. And, you know, there's a lot of things. Anyway, let me get back to that. There's, if we focus on the heart, their attitude, right? And their character, then at the end of the day, we're going to release them into the world as men and women that love the Lord, love to learn, and have all of those character qualities that will set them that it's like it's not even a fair contest against the rest of the people on the planet. It's not fair because God loves them and blesses them exceedingly abundantly above anything that you could hope or imagine it re they stick out like sore thumbs you know they just do opening the door for people when they're walking into the store um this one and now i'm really gonna wrap it uh character things etiquette things i was listening with my husband uh last night was it last night we were on our way home and we were listening to some weird radio station about how is it that if you have 10,000 people that apply for a job and then you narrow it down to 10, right? As an employer, human resources director, you narrow it down to these 10, the cream of the crop. And so then you go through the interviews and you narrow it down to three. How do you narrow who gets the job? They're the same age, the same um, experience, the same education, the same talents, same skills, right? You've got three. How do you narrow it down? And the guy that was doing the interview said, everybody that he asked said the, the same thing. These are big corporations, big entities, boiling, you know, taking this mass amount of people and boiling it down to three candidates. And then you're like, great. How do you choose? And you know what they said? They said they take each one of the candidates out to dinner individually. And then they watch them. Do they open the door and hold it open for people? Do they engage with the service staff? How do they, um, how do they order their food? How do they treat the people at the table? Do they uh, dominate the conversation or do they pull other people in? Are they attentive? Are they good listeners? This is character stuff. This is if a lady walks in the room, do they stand? Or if somebody walks to the table, do they stand to greet them? If somebody's leaving, do they stand to say it was so nice to meet you or so nice to talk to you? It's those types of things that set our kids apart. Because when, see, all you need to do is hear that once, right? And then you're like, oh, I'm going to start teaching my kids to stand. Or I'm going to teach my kids, I called it gentlemen in training, where um, my kids would try to kill strangers <laughs> inadvertently. <laughs> because when we get to a store or a public place, they will race to be the first one to the door to open it for the stranger. And I don't know how many people they have bumped into and almost just completely knocked over. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry, they're just gentlemen in training. Um, such a great thing. And now I can't, my boys refuse to let me walk into a store. I'm not allowed to touch the door. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. But in, in life, it will absolutely set us aside. Oh, yeah, you've got plenty of time. So, okay, I'm just trying to get that away. So anyway, I love you guys. Join the sisterhood. It's it's worth it. It's everything that you're looking for and more. It just is. And I know that we don't have a lot of money. I know we don't. I'm a homeschool mom, too. I've been a homeschool mom for 20 years. 
Nev, I've only bought curriculum once. That's right. I'm as cheap as they come. <laughs> Shared curriculum, borrowed curriculum, made curriculum. Okay. But you need the encouragement. You need to know that character is where it's at. Attitude is where it's at. You need community. You are not meant to do this on your own. You are absolutely meant to be united with your husband and to create a vision for your children and your family and to walk with confidence toward that. That's You are meant to do that. But you can glean from others that have gone before you and you can learn how to do that. And you want the best. You want people that have gone before you that say, look, as much as I love the ultimate bundles, and I do, the, the, all those digital things that you can get, I don't use them. So you want a blogger like me that will say, mm, it's a good deal. And if you're if you're a digital type person, go for it. It's awesome. But you want me to also tell you, hey, do you want to teach your kids how to learn without worksheets? I got something for you coming in August, September. Um, that is not mine, but you're going to hear me talk about it because it's awesome. Even though I create worksheets, do you want other ways to engage your kids? So you want us to be honest. You want us to be funny, right? You want us to be real. If I'm having a hard day, I'm noticing that you want to hear about it because it's we're all human. We're all broken. We're all healing. We're all imperfect. And um, there's just, yeah, I'm not all about perfect. I don't even edit my emails. I leave my typographical errors hanging to, you know, it, it kind of flushes out the people that don't need to be there. Hey, if you can't take me seriously, if I forget to capitalize the I in the sentence, then it's okay. We don't have to be friends. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, I love it. So, um, okay, that's it. I love you guys. I hope you understand the heart. Um, the gal that shared the original um, thing with me where she was saying that, you know, has anybody, has everybody noticed the sheer volume of homeschool moms that are charging for encouragement and mentorship? Um, yep, I'm one of them. And I think that it's important um, to put it, it should hurt a little bit, not a lot. Uh, we don't have, I'm not, nobody's trying to bleed anybody dry, um, but we should invest in ourselves and we will take it more seriously. Um, I bought my ticket to the sisterhood this morning and I was so excited to get inside. Um, I bought it and I will pay for it um, because I need the encouragement. I'm at the, the tail end of the homeschool journey. And I need to not grow weary. You know, I've only got like three more years with the kids that will that are at my my table. And I need to remember the character things. I need to remember that I need to make sure that they'll pass those interviews when they go out to dinner with the guys that are gonna hire them because they're the cream of the crop. Um, I want to make sure that they have that skill set practiced in you know, and that they don't kill the people walking through the front door. <laughs> so anyway, if you're a bumblebee, look up. Okay. There's a whole big world out there. Uh, God wants to put his fingerprints all over you, all over your kids, all over your lives, all over homeschool. And sometimes he uses the foolish things of the world to do it. Things, and I'm not saying the sisterhood is foolish, but it is amazing and it is uh, put together by somebody that loves the Lord and has your best interest at heart. So um, anyway, that's it. If last thought, this is truly the last thought. Say you open your inbox and you have 12 invitations about the sisterhood <laughs> because it could happen because there are amazing bloggers out there that are sharing. Um, look through them. And don't roll your eyes. Just pick the one that resonates with you the most. If you, I, I want you to pick my link because I think the Huddle and the Behold series um, are fantastic. And I will only share those with the people that buy through my link. 
However, somebody else may have something better on top of it, or they may be somebody that resonates with you more, and that's okay. Um, just delete the other emails without, don't even, don't even eat a piece of guilt pie about it. Just delete them. You can even send the blogger a message and say, look, you know, I love you, but I don't want to hear about the sisterhood anymore. That's okay too, because that helps us so that we can encourage you more, right? We don't want to burden you more. So that's it. I'm done. Okay, let me see. Making sure there's nothing more. I think that's it. So follow the link if you're going to join the sisterhood. If you have questions, let me know. You can tag Anna, also Anna Willis, um, and she can help answer questions too. Um, the doors for the sisterhood are only open for a few days, and my my part of the bonuses are only available for this flight of the sisterhood. Um, I need to pray about whether or not it's going to be something I'll do again in January. But for now, it's what I'm doing right now. So I would love to bless you and put you inside the huddle too. And I think that's it. Love you guys. Have a great day. And I will talk. Oh, wait. How do you join? Wait, that's not a dumb question. That's a great question. Let me pop that here. Here is the link. And actually, I'll put it. Here, add a banner. I'm learning this new program. It's fantastic. Did it go? If I show it. Okay, so when you look at this, you'll see that it's Anna's Teachable to the Homeschool Sisterhood membership. And that little big gobbledygook number at the end is my link. When you click on my link, I get you get kind of put into my bucket. And then I will get, then you'll email me. Um, and I'll add this up in the descriptions after this. Then you will email me. Let me see if I can spell it right. I didn't. I, I misspelled homeschool. So now I'm fixing it because that's what I'm doing. A better way to homeschool at gmail.com. Then you, so first you get into the sisterhood. Then you shoot me an email and say, hey, Becky, I joined the sisterhood with your link. And once I see you inside the sisterhood, then it'll take me a couple days because I'm busy too. Um, but then I will get you inside the huddle. And then once I create the Behold series, because it's brand new, once I create that, then I will um, either, I will get it to you also. So I haven't figured out where I'm putting it as a complete thing, but I will and it's coming. So I'll make sure to add the links. So you follow the, the sisterhood link with my affiliate code. And um, thank you guys for listening. I love you. And I definitely, this is my heart. I want to encourage you. I want to show you that it's about the inside, not what your kids are doing with their pencil that matter, that it's better and it's more funner in a community. And I'm only going to be sharing the best with you. Okay? I'm not looking to, to share every single thing that comes down the river. Um, I'm only going to be sharing the best with you. So I hope you understand and you appreciate that because that's what I'm looking for. Will you be emailing the link as well? I sent an email out this morning. If you're on my, um, oh, you didn't miss anything, Anna. Um, yes, I will be emailing. I'll, I'll send an email right now with the link to this video so that people can uh, watch and listen to what my heart is about it too. So if you're on my email list, then uh, you'll get that email too. Otherwise, give me a few minutes and I'll put the link um, up there so that it it's easier for you to see what we're doing. So anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later.